okay today i'm going to discuss with you on centrifugal pumps how centrifugal pump actually works and what is the what is its operating principle okay let me tell you one thing that it is a very simple topic and also extremely interesting topic okay you will be definitely going to understand this but before starting with centrifugal pumps let me just tell you that what is the need of pump we require pump to transmit water from a region of low pressure to a region of higher pressure suppose this is a reservoir suppose this is a reservoir and you want to transport water to this reservoir which is at a higher elevation that means higher pressure how will you do so you will attach a pipe but will the water go up to this level no because water does not moves from a region of low pressure to higher pressure you require to give some force or you require to do some work from outside that's why you use pumps you have to use pump at the middle so that it will transmit water now i'm going to show explain to you a general pumping system how it basically works okay general uh, example of a pumping system okay okay see this is a region reservoir of uh, which is at a lower pressure and this is a reservoir which is at a higher pressure and you want to try you your desire is that you need to transmit water from here to here so you have used a pump okay very simple now see uh, this is the datum level that means the base level from which I have taken all the heights or the elevations Okay Now see I have just drawn this pump inside of the pump, uh, pump over here Okay, there are some impellers impellers are just like blades Okay and shaft attached at the middle when the shaft rotates the impellers also rotate along with it okay suppose these are rotating in this direction now try to understand initially some amount of water some amount of water is present inside the pump so when the pump is actually started when the impellers has started to rotate these blades are going to cut the water present inside it okay and when it cuts the water present inside it a region of low pressure is going to deliver uh, is going to be generate at that place a region of low pressure is generated at that place now this pressure is so low comparing to the pressure at this point a or at this lower reservoir that there is a huge pressure difference between this point and this point this is also at a lower uh, pressure but comparing to the pressure gen uh, which is generated here it is relatively higher so what happens is that due to this pressure difference water moves upwards that is known as the sucking of the water in this way the pump actually sucks water from this lower reservoir okay and this tube that's why this pipe is known as uh, sucking tube okay now one important thing is that you have learnt about Bernoulli's principal equations I have told you that how water is going to be sucked by the pump after sucking due to rotary action i will explain it to later on but first listen due to some rotary action the uh, water moves up to this level okay to the higher reservoir okay first but but there are lots of things taking place here and we will learn that okay first let me tell you that when water is sucked from this lower reservoir to this pipe there is some entry loss we know entry loss at the pipe then there is some loss in the pipe due to friction similarly 
there is when um, water is moving through this delivery tube there is some loss due to friction and when water is leaving this delivery tube to the upper reservoir there is some loss due to the exit loss okay you know these things now it is very simple for me to explain you one thing now if i just write the bernoulli's equation if i simply write bernoulli's equation bernoulli's equation at point c that is entry to the impeller at point c bernoulli's equation at point c okay it is what p1 pc by rho g plus vc square by 2g plus the height what is my height height is z1 see see from this datum level the height of this point c is z1 okay so height is z1 okay this is my total head this is my total head at c that means entry to impeller or pump okay total head at c or the entry to impeller my head total head is due to the pressure pc by rho g due to velocity vc square by 2g and due to the data that is elevation it is z1 okay similarly at d point at point d if you just see this image at point d it is the exit from the impeller just when water is leaving the impeller there is some pressure there is some velocity and the height is from the datum is z2 from here to here the height is z2 so i can write the total head it is pd by rho g plus vd square by 2g velocity plus z2 okay i can write this this is very simple now what is the actual head developed by the pump it is the head at the exit of the pump minus the head at the inlet of the pump that means h d minus h c this is your h or the net head developed by the pump okay some books also write it as manometric head or hm i am writing it simple h h is equals to hd minus hc so what i will get by subtracting simply is pd by rho it is pd by rho g minus of pc by rho g I'm just subtracting it plus VC square minus of uh, sorry VD square minus of VC square by 2G plus Z2 minus Z1. I will get this as my H. Okay. I will get this now let me tell you this you have understood there is no problem in understanding this i think now let me tell you one thing that here i have written h a it is the net head at point a why net head at point a because at this point a the pressure head is what it is zero because this point is open to the atmosphere so i can consider it zero velocity is zero because it is stagnant so the net head is actually due to the datum head only so i can write it as h a now to the top level at the top reservoir higher reservoir from this lower reservoir to higher reservoir this distance i am writing as h s this is also known as static head 
see at this top reservoir at this top reservoir if i see at this point what is my total head total head pressure is zero because similarly it is open to the atmosphere velocity is zero because it is stagnant at this point and i am left with datum that means height from the date uh, height from the datum level so height is what it is hs plus ha because i want to take the height from the datum so it is hs plus ha you have understood this now i want to get a relation between h and hs i want to get a relation relation between h and hs which is very important actually so what will you do is that you just apply bernoulli's principle between two points first point a and c first i am going to apply bernoulli's principle at point a and point c okay what is my point a c this is my point a if i apply bernoulli's equation just now i have told you that the net head due to pressure is zero due to velocity it is zero only due to height that is ha okay which is equals to which is equals to the head at c what is my c this thing and i have written the head uh, at c it is pc by rho g plus this thing okay i am writing it pc by rho g plus vc square by 2g plus z1 this is but we know that in between a and c in between a and c i have told you that there are some losses there are some losses and what are those losses first is the entry loss at this point and another is the loss due to pipe pipe friction so i have to write it as h plus h i or h inlet plus h f1 friction loss in the suction tube okay okay no problem so i will get this thing the next thing what i am going to do is that i will apply bernoulli's principle at point d and f i will apply bernoulli's principle at point d and f see from diagram this is my point d and this is my point f point f is in the reservoir okay point f you can also consider at uh, at the reservoir okay so what is my um, net head at point d i have written previously it is pd by rho g plus vd square by 2g plus uh, z2 is equals to the head at point f you can consider that this point f it is not clearly written over here you can consider point f over here at the top portion okay you can see it at the top portion okay so what is my pressure over there it is zero pressure is zero velocity is zero pressure and velocity both are zero and i am left with the height that means the elevation head what is my elevation from the data it is hs plus ha okay hs plus ha but i have also learned that between this point d and point f there are some losses that have taken place what are the losses plus hf2 hf2 is the loss due to friction in the delivery tube plus he that is the exit loss which has taken place at between e and f okay now see 
I have got this thing previously. I have got this thing previously. H A is this thing. Now, if I just substitute the value of H A from this equation to here. Okay. Just here, if I substitute this value, then I will get what? I will get H is equals to HS plus H in plus HF1 plus HF2 plus HE. I will get this thing. Why? Because this, this, and this difference of these two terms is what? It is H. That is the head developed by the pump. I have already written. I have already written. These two differences H. And the rest. I have just substituted the value of H A in my second equation. This is my second equation. This was my first equation. I have just substituted the value of HA from first equation to second equation. So, I can write H is equals to HS plus summation of losses. This thing is very important. You will find this while doing problems. In many books, this is not shown clearly, but I have learnt from the book of Professor S. K. Ghosh. It is written super S. K. Song. Sorry, it is written superbly. You can also follow that. So you have got a relation between H and H S. This was your main name. So you can know that H is equals to H S plus summation of all the losses. This was basically the pumping system now i am going to explain you directly that how centrifugal pump actually works okay and the velocity triangle 